Hi, I'm Patrick Sullivan, and this is Recurring Insight. For this episode, I'm gonna be talking about Counterspell, one of Magic's most iconic designs, a card that's inspired so much uh, vernacular in Magic, so many play patterns, and it's the most beloved card of a lot of people who think of themselves as smart and clever and good in Magic who aren't any of those things at all. So sit back, tune in, enjoy the show. Even set aside the specific mechanics of Counterspell, there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. I especially like that it appeared in Alpha alongside Spell Blast and Power Sync. Those are two cards that even if you don't have a very good understanding of power level, you can pretty clearly identify as being weaker options than Counterspell. Power Sync's a little bit confusing because it has an extra ability associated with it, but Spell Blast is pretty clearly weaker. I don't think I was ever tricked by the two in comparison, and no one I knew back in the day was tricked by it either. But what it does demonstrate is that you can have sort of plausible deniability when it comes to balance by using additional mana symbols. So even though Counterspell is much stronger than those two cards, Spell Blast and Power Sync are invalidated because ostensibly you could splash them in a way that you can't splash Counterspell. So that part of the card is very, very cool. I think it's also cool to make something powerful that's sort of an iconic element of what the color does, especially in places where it's different than the other colors. No one else really counters spells. So blue gets to do it and counter spell is representative of the fact that they get to do it at an, a very, very efficient rate. But much in the same way that I like Lightning Bolt being an iconic red card because it's an extremely red thing. The tone, the feel, the play pattern, what it does inside of the color pie. Counter spell, much the same thing. Now there's some downside to counter spell as well. But I think the downside of it is a little bit complicated because when people talk about not liking, liking counter spells, often what they're talking about is the experience of playing against nothing but counter spells, which is very different than playing against someone who has a couple copies of the card counter spell. And there's sort of a selection effect that goes on. The biggest opportunity cost to playing with counter spell is that you want to leave up mana on your opponent's turn. So you want to fill your deck with their instance. Obviously, other counter spells are going to fit the bill there. And so once you have a few of them in your deck, you're often incentivized to play quite a few more. Counter spells play well with other counter spells and with instant speed card drawing and with flash. And that represents a play pattern that can be very frustrating to play against because it's very hard to take a game action. In the same way that one stone rain being cast in a game is very different than a deck that's nothing but stone rains, or one copy of Duress being very different than someone who's playing with Mind Twist and Pox and all these effects that prevent you from ever resolving a spell. I think there's a big difference between a counter spell and the play pattern of that versus a deck that's nothing but that effect. I think there's a compounding effect where when counter spell has been legal, it has been along with a bunch of other counter spells that then engenders the counter everything experience that's so negative. But I think counter spell on its own is a powerful, but an acceptable part of what you would think of of a standard power level game of magic. Again, that was Counterspell, and this is Recurring Insight. I'm Patrick Sullivan. And if you enjoyed this, uh, make sure you're subscribing over at the YouTube page. Give this a like if you feel like it. And any car that you're interested in me talking about, ideally next time something like a little bit more proactive and fun and beloved by people with some personality and sense of artistry, just leave that on the comment page and I'll get it to it next time.